soil microorganisms. In this lecture, I will tell you all about soil microbes and their functions, classification and their importance in soil. So let's get started. Soil is a living body in which various types of microorganisms live. As you know, microorganisms are very small. We cannot see them without microscope. Microorganisms are everywhere in atmosphere, in our body, and they are also present in soil. Soil is the rich of microorganisms. One gram of soil contains billion microorganisms. Soil microorganisms are divided into two groups, microflora and microfauna. Bacteria, fungi, algae, and actinomycetes are microflora, and they play a major role in decomposing of soil organic matter while protozoa and nematodes are microfauna. Protozoa play an important role in mineralizing nutrients and they are free living, they regulate number of the bacteria. However, nematodes cause diseases in plants. They are very harmful microbes for the plants. While soil contains organic matter, that is food for microorganisms. Soil microbes decompose raw organic matter into humus and thus release nutrients in plants available form. Topsoil has a high microbial population because topsoil contain high amount of the organic matter. Classification of soils. As I told you, soil microbes are divided into two groups, microfauna and microflora. Microflora includes bacteria, fungi, algae, and actinomycetes. There are two types of bacteria in soil heterotrophic bacteria and autotrophic bacteria. Heterotrophic bacteria are divided into nitrogen fixing bacteria and non-nitrogen fixing bacteria. Let's discuss each of soil microflora in detail. Bacteria. Bacteria are very small in size, ranges from 0.5 to 5 meters. They are most abundant in soil. One teaspoon of soil contains 1 billion bacteria. Can you imagine 1 billion or up to 1 billion? Most of bacteria are very important for soil and plant while some causes disease. The heterotrophic bacteria depend upon soil organic matter or living body for their food. Bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen into the plant's available form. In atmosphere, 78% nitrogen is present that is elemental form and not plants available form. Plants are unable to take elemental nitrogen. So microbes fix elemental nitrogen into plants available form. Nitrogen fixing bacteria. There are two types of nitrogen fixing bacteria. Symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria and non-symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria. Rhizobium. Rhizobium is a symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria. They fix nitrogen in the association with leguminous plants. Symbiotic means interaction between two different organisms. Rhizobium bacteria enter in the root of plant and take carbohydrates from plant root tissues as their food and fix elemental nitrogen into the ammonia with the help of nitrogenous enzymes. Rhizobium developed colonies in the plant roots and form small nodules. In this symbiotic relationship, both species get benefits. Bacteria take their food from plant's roots and give fixed nitrogen to the plant. While through this process, rhizobium bacteria fix 50 to 150 nitrogen per hectare. On symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria, they fix nitrogen in rhizosphere, but these bacteria do not need plant's roots. They fix elemental nitrogen into plant available form. Examples are Azotobacter and Clostridium. Azotobacter works in the presence of oxygen, while Clostridium is an anaerobic bacteria. They do not need oxygen. They can work without the presence of oxygen. These bacteria depend on organic matter of soil. 
they require higher amount of carbon while azotobacter fix 5 to 20 kg nitrogen per hectare the composition of organic matter by microorganisms soil bacteria decomposed organic matter and involved in various processes such as ammonification nitrification denitrification and mineralization of organic form of nutrients non nitrogen fixing bacteria are involved in these processes they do not fix elemental nitrogen but they ammonify nitrify and denitrify nitrogen in soil ammonification is the process of changing organic nitrogenous compounds into the ammonia in this process ammonifying bacteria convert nitrogenous compounds of organic matter such as protein into polypeptides then into amino acids and then into ammonia while in nitrification nitrosomonas bacteria converts ammonia into nitrite and then nitrobacter converts nitrite into the nitrate nitrous is also available form of nitrogen for the plant while denitrification is a process in which nitrate converted into nitrogen gas in this process pseudosomonas and bacillus bacteria are involved mineralization of organic form of a nutrients into the inorganic form in soil there are autotrophic bacteria and these bacteria oxide certain nutrients into the plant available form as microorganism oxide sulfur into the sulfate and that is available form for the plant while microbes mineralized organic phosphorus into the plant available form of the phosphorus fungi fungi also called fungi fungi are either multicellular or unicellular they are categorized as microorganisms they depend on other for their food do you know one gram of soil contains one million fungi fungi decompose soil organic matter and very hard materials such as cellulose and lignin fungi make symbiotic relationship with the plant's root that is called mycorrhizae that is a mutually beneficial association between certain fungi and roots of plants in this symbiotic relationship or in this symbiotic association fungi get sugar from the plants root in return fungi provide essential nutrient including phosphorus to the plant and and help plant to uptake water while mycorrhiza are divided into two types ectomycorrhizae and endomycorrhizae in ectomycorrhizae hyphae of fungi penetrate the root of plant but do not penetrate the cell wall actually hyphae are long branching filamentous structure of fungus this type of mycorrhiza association is mostly with trees such as oak tree while in endomycorrhizae that is also called vesicular or vascular mycorrhizae penetrates roots of the cell wall about 90% of plants including wheat cotton sugar have endomycorrhizae association algae algae is also soil microbes they contain chlorophyll and they manufacture their own food like plant while 1 gram of soil contain 100000 algae algae is good for soil structure they improve soil aggregate by producing polysaccharides while in waterlogged rice field algae fix about 20 to 30 kg nitrogen per hectare actinomycetes actinomycetes are abundance in soil after bacteria and they have characteristics of both bacteria and fungi they produce number of the enzymes that help to decompose the soil organic matter the actinomycetes increase soil fertility through recycling of soil organic matter and solubilizing phosphate if phosphorus is insoluble in soil that is unavailable for the plants harmful functions of soil microorganisms microbes present in soils are very important for soil but they have some harmful functions as they cause diseases in plants 
Black disease of rice is caused by bacteria and fungi cause many diseases including simmers and rust of cereal crops. While denitrifying bacteria convert plant available form of nitrogen into the elemental form of nitrogen. Formation of a toxic compounds due to microbes. Under anaerobic condition, toxic compounds such as methane and hydrogen sulfides are formed due to improper decomposition of organic matter. Competition for nutrient. At the time of organic matter decomposition, microorganisms uptake nutrients in large quantities. Thus, plants get insufficient nutrient for their growth. Factors affecting soil microorganisms growth, activity and population. Moisture. Soil moisture is very crucial for microbes reaction and growth. Aerobic microbes require oxygen for their growth. So presence of air in soil is very crucial. Temperature. Optimum temperature is very important for microbes. That ranges from 30 to 37 degree. Soil pH. Neutral soil pH is suitable for microorganisms. Organic matter content. Soil organic matter is a food for soil microorganisms. So presence of a soil organic matter is very crucial. Nutrients. Soil microorganisms require certain nutrients such as the nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. So availability of the nutrients is very important for microbes growth, activity and population. Well, now it's time of test. The right answer you will find in the description.